the sit just burp right in my face. Hello, good morning, welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. I am headed out to go run some errands. <laughs> I'm gonna go drop puppies off at doggy daycare just to hang with some other pups for the day Diggy is missing one more vaccine that I didn't realize that he didn't have before we can do a temperament test Which I'm sure that he will pass with flying colors But anyways, so it's just puppies today going to doggy daycare and then I have to go get a new foundation match I've been really struggling with being a little bit too yellow tinted um in my foundation So I'm gonna head to Sephora after that foundation secured my all-time favorite foundation foundation is the uh, rare beauty foundation and so my undertones of my other shades have been feeling really yellow but like this one looks crazy like that looks like a blush almost it's so pink but anyways the uh, employee like shade matched me it truly looked perfect and uh, excited to have this like back in my makeup routine I've missed I've missed you and I'm back with corn Mia is on day two of recovery so I stopped by to do a little pup walk for sponsoring this portion of the video. So there was a horoscope wrapped the other day that I saw and um, I'm a Leo. Um, what is like the top vibe for my year as a Leo was cute little stuff, cute little things. And I cannot begin to tell you just how accurate that is and just how much I love cute little things. I am so excited to show you the Canon IV2 mini printer. It is the definition of cute little thing. And I feel like I've only just scratched the surface of opportunity of making cute little things to put on more cute little things. Okay, so here she is. These are the two by three zinc photo paper sheets. These are sticky back peel and stick. They are so simple. I've got some gift wrapping to do later on and I don't typically do Christmas cards, but I'm feeling in the Christmas card spirit. So I figured with uh, my new Canon IV2 mini printer, I would do some cute little printouts to go in Christmas cards. And then also I was thinking like customized little hang tags for when I do wrapping. I think it's gonna be really cute. Okay, so here is the Canon mini print app. This app is super simple, super intuitive. I'm gonna start by going into photo album and selecting my first photo. And then the bottom toolbar gives you the ability to customize in a ton of different ways. So we can go in and adjust the brightness, contrast, saturation. I'm gonna boost the contrast, I think, just a little bit. And then um, frames, I think, is my absolute favorite feature. Again, this bottom toolbar here has a ton of different categories categories that have so many options in each one. The Christmas one also has some really cute ones. This little one here with Santa and the reindeer flying over the pups is too much to handle. Got New Year's, Thanksgiving, sports, Halloween, got months, journal, color, simple, pattern, 90s. The 90s ones are super cute. Uh, summer, and there's a ton of different categories that keep on going. Let's go with some snowflake pups. I'm gonna confirm that, and then I'm also just gonna adjust them so they're a little bit bigger, and just some of them. You can also go in and add text, stickers, filters, rotate, and do like custom drawing as well, too, if you're really good at that. You can take it one step further and add a sticker on top of all of this. So we could put a little tiny hat on Diggy's head. Looks so adorable. Oh my god, are you kidding? Okay, I mean, that's that's perfection if I've ever seen it. I'm gonna call that masterpiece done and uh, send that to the printer. It's so cute. It's too much. It's too much. Another feature that I've been loving is the collage. I've been loving using the same photo in um, like just duplicated over all four of these quadrants. So I'm gonna select the same photo just four times. God, Jeremy and I, this was like in the first couple months that we were dating, we looked so young, youthful, energetic, and hot. And then there are some really cute New Year's stickers. I'm gonna kind of tilt it a little bit and then just center this up. So cute! Oh my God, I might print a few of these ones. This one's pretty cute. 
adorable. And you thought that was cute? We also have the capability to print stickers. I did these ones earlier and they are just out of control cute. So I've got the printer loaded with the circle sheets. If I go into the pre-cut sticker section, you can literally just select the two photos that you want to go into the stickers. I want to do two stickers, I think with both of them. And I'm gonna just make some little adjustments here. I've got like kind of the safety lines there. I'm gonna hit print in the top right hand corner. Oh my God. Ah, I mean, okay, I'm gonna attempt some handmade Christmas cards, some homemade gift tags, and I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it about how sloppy my handwriting is. One of these days, I'm gonna learn calligraphy. One of these days. Canon for sponsoring this portion of the video. Now on to the rest of the vlog. Okay, so it's officially wrapping time, but I just realized, I mean, I could totally wrap Jeremy's present and he would never see it. <laughs> But I am a little nervous that someone is going to go Grinch mode and bah humbug and like message him or like tweet him a photo of what I got him. So I'm like, okay, where do I put the camera? Like, do I just put you guys like really far away so that I can still wrap? but not show you what's inside? I'm really struggling because I really didn't think this through. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I really don't have that many things to wrap. How am I gonna do this? Okay, please hold while I logistically organize myself. So I, I one, uh, my parents are meeting Jeremy's mom for the very first time this holiday season in T minus nine days. And so I thought that it'd be quite a quaint idea for everyone to do an ornament swap because no one wants like random stuff that like is one heavy to put in your suitcase and travel back since everyone's coming to LA this year. And two is just like, it's hard to buy a gift for someone that you've never met before. So I was like, oh, let's just, everyone can like swap ornaments. It'll be really cute. Thought it was an adorable idea. So I got these really, I'm gonna, text my mom and tell her not to watch this vlog. But I got these really cute moose and diggy ornaments made on Etsy. You like sent a bunch of photos and then they were supposed to illustrate the dogs. When I tell you that they just kind of did a not so great job cropping their heads out of the photos and then printed the photos out onto the acrylic in a really terrible like green casted photo. And I was like, first I was like, these didn't even come with like little ornament hangers. I don't know, I feel like it doesn't look as bad on camera as it does in person. Here's Diggy, but like, I don't know if you can see that like part of his chest is just kind of missing. Can you see this? Can you see this? Oh God, it really does look cuter on camera than it does in person. They also just like weren't cheap and it is not, what I paid for. What I did think that I paid for was definitely a little ribbon to hang it on the tree, like the little ornament string that would go on top of it. Anyways, not entirely sure how I feel about that. No, I know how I feel about that. I don't feel good about it. I really don't feel good. This was not what I was hoping for. <laughs> Still gonna wrap it. I let my mom know that my expectations were not met and to expect a not as cute as I planned to be ornament for our ornament swap. And Donna's ornament hasn't even showed up in the mail yet as I'm doing my wrapping. So, I mean, again, we've got nine days, so I think we'll probably be fine, but I'm over two so far.
this is just a clump of knots. This is just a clump of knots. Hello, it is later. My presents are wrapped for the most part and under the tree. I feel like the tree looks complete now with a few little wrapped gifts under there. And you will never guess what I just finished setting up. Yes? How many years later? How many years? So I think we've only talked about this story on the podcast, but when Jeremy and I first started dating. Did you head over to the podcast and watch it there? When Jim and I first started dating, <laughs> I had just bought a soda stream because you guys- I love sparkling water. I love sparkling water. I love sparkling water machine at home. If I had sparkling water machine at home, I would never have to buy sparkling water anywhere else. I'm gonna buy a sparkling water machine. Buys immediately. Then, literally, four years later, a second machine. We didn't even know it was the first one, but we did. We just never set it up. We now have sparkling water. Is that the story? That's the story! So I had a soda stream, a soda stream, a soda stream four years ago, and I found out that CO2 itself does not expire, but the bottle does. And so I got scared. So then I gave the machine away, but threw the CO2 out because I was like, this is for sure just gonna explode in my face. And so now I have a brand new one that also matches the kitchen better, which I'm really excited about. I just finished setting it up, mostly because Jeremy threatened to throw it out if I, um, and here we are. I yeah, I appreciate here it is. Amazing. He really was threatening to give it to literally anyone in our neighborhood except for me if I didn't set it up before my parents get here on Monday. So now that it's set up, I thought that we should make our first bottle of sparkling water together. I'm so excited. Jeremy also got, Jeremy's in his like housewife era right now. Right I've mentioned years. this a few times. We now have a water filter little faucet on our sink. So for me to be able to just use my water bottle, fill up my water bottle with the filtered water from the sink and then go to the soda stream, get my bubbles, and then go to the crushed ice machine. Yeah, lest we forget the sub meter at the plumbing level to pay less on the water bill for the outdoor water that is not going to go down the drain. I don't understand any of that part, but okay, let's make this part like water! And don't your fans want to know about what a sub meter does for runway water? versus the water that goes through the plumbing? These are like adult things that make my This is what everyone, glitch. this is a relatable concept. Okay, let's make some struggling water. The worst part of this situation is that it literally took me about three and a half minutes to set this up. Yep. <laughs> and it was quite a user-friendly experience. Okay, here we go. I just cleaned out the bottle and it's time to make our bubbles fizz water before we're adding the flavor. Push the bottleneck into the snap lock, push it up and then back. Oh my God, here we go. Okay, up. And back, there's a gap here, that's right. It said press it down five. There is a snoot down here, a snoot. The instructions say that if I want super sparkle, I go one, two, three, four, five, but all individual. Okay, here we go, here we go. One, two, is my water not high enough? I think my water's not high enough. Oh, no, maybe it is. How's it working? Mm! Pretty good? So good! Spicy! Wow. Spicy! I'm pretty impressed. Wow. Wow. Spicy! <gasps> oh! Wow! This is a video of gadgets today. Is it gadget day? This is gadget day. I love gadget day. I should have gotten one of these earlier. I cannot see <laughs> Do I have any pups interested in an advent calendar for day 15? Which we already know is a very me, excuse me. disappointing. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sir. Sir. We um, unfortunately have a ball today as you know, for day 15. And we unfortunately also have some tummy problems happening in the household. I know day 15 in past years has been a very, very special day, but we've got many sensitive tummies in the house. And by, we, we had a poop situation today. And so we and it will- it wasn't Laura. It wasn't me. And it was not me. Wasn't Jeremy. And it was not Moose. And it was not Moose. So I'll let you deduce. So anyways, if we do the math, and Dickie's actually looking quite pleased with himself and happy and fine and healthy. But it, it, the, what, what I'm trying to say is that we're not doing anything crazy for day 15 um, like we have in past years with pup cups, etc. because we got this stupid ball. I know, Moose, it's, I know, I know. Just entirely unimpressed. Silent rage. Diggy! Nope, I think he just fell out of his chair. You want a ball? What's this? Nope. 
Okay, no one is interested. We will be donating all of our dog toys at the end of the advent calendar to pups who actually appreciate the toys. What are you brats? Anyways, can you come here? We've got very bland Charlie Bear Tritos from Trader Joe's. That is basically like a saltine cracker in the form of a treat. Do you sit? Do you sit? Do you? Do you sit? No, that's almost a sit. Very close. Sit. Do you sit? Just burp right in my face. Your tail is so happy though. Do you? Do you sit? Go boy. Most can I have this paw? Thank you so much. Can I have this? Can I have this? Thank you so much. That is such a good paw. May I have this paw? Oh, thank you. Thank you. That also is a wonderful sit, Diggy. Can you sit? Good sit. Nope, it's right here. It's right here. It's right here. It's right here. <laughs> Moose almost came and got it. Moose sit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry that we don't have many crunchies today for vlogmas day 15 but maybe when tummies are settled and poops are back to normal we will have more advent calendar crunchies for you on vlogmas day 16. bye guys